Hey everybody, my name is Lando. Welcome back to Echoes of Wisdom. We're about to jump into this rift. Last time we were about to be executed. Ah yes, the still world. The music in this place is awesome. This is the still world. Everything you see floating around here was sucked through the rift. Anything that ends up here will begin to break apart and eventually vanish completely. Me and my friends have the ability to restore things that have ended up in rifts, though. Speaking of, I sense my friends deeper in here. Let's go, Zelda. With pleasure. Yoink! Yeah, exploring this place is so cool. Just because of the atmosphere. Ah! Hey, that's the lady that got sucked up earlier. When people get pulled into rifts, they kind of petrify and can't move anymore. And if they stay that way, they'll eventually fade away. That stinks. But that won't happen to you, Zelda. You're special. Oh, thanks. Hey, wait a minute. Come on. Double kill. Ha. Nice. Hup. Don't hit me! I'm parkouring! Yeah! Uh-oh. Wait, pick up the box! Okay, how are we gonna kill these things? Uh... Carl Modillo! Yes! Hit them! Hit them! What are you doing? No! That's not the way I wanted you to go! Hey-ya! Yes. I want to experiment more with the rifts because when I first played this game, I just found the ones that I liked the best and I kept using those ones. I wasn't using my wisdom. I was just kind of being like, okay, I don't want to fight these things. So get away from me. Ah! Parkour. Oh gosh. Ah! Stupid freaking thing. Are you- Jump on the tree! There we go. Ugh! Yeah! Hey, another- Hey, wait, that's the left guy. Or the left girl. I remember this one from the castle. Me too. Yeah. Ah, the dungeon. The first dungeon of the game. This is where you were trapped not too long ago. Yes. We're getting closer to my friends. They're further in, but we're getting there. And yeah, this one has a nice little... This game has a feature where there's multiple warp points in the dungeon. Because they're kind of bigger than other 2D Zelda games. Okay. <laughs> I have a very funny story about this. So... When I first played this game, I completely forgot about the bind mechanic, alright? So here, Tri is going to tell us that we can bind with the rock and move it. Basically, when I first played this game, I was like, how the freak am I supposed to press this button? So I spent an hour and a half using echoes to get on top of the rock. And then I finally pressed the button and I was like, wait, how the freak do I get back there? And that's when I finally learned that you could bind, and I felt like such an idiot. But anyway, if you guys were wondering if you could actually climb to the top of that rock, you can. And I'm probably going to forget that the bind mechanic exists further in the game, but they utilize it a lot, so probably not. The one thing that I forget is that you can bind to enemies. Which could come in handy. Oh yeah, this enemy is a really good echo to have. Okay. I'm gonna use our keys to kill ya. Hit him again!
Come on, hit him. Hit him again. Hit him again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> sea urchin, you rock. You're probably my favorite echo right now, sea urchin. Urchin? I don't know. Hey, yeah, you can basically just create your own little ladder. And it works in the top-down sections, too. Yeah. No. No. Get off the... Get off the strand, Zelda! There we go. That was a challenging room. Okay, where are we now? Hey, I remember this room. This is where we played as Link. Don't hit me. I just want to get the rupees. Okay, that part of the dungeon doesn't exist anymore. But the elevator does. Who even powers this thing? You think there's just like a guy that's like, Oh, somebody stepped on the platform. Better raise it up. Or do you think it's magic? The answer is yes. Ah! Uh, what do I use? Carl Medillo! Okay, he's invulnerable to Carl Medillo. What about Sea Urchin? Oh, they could never make me hate you, Sea Urchin. Definitely the best echo in the game. Freaking Carl Medillo blows chunks. Stupid guy. How do I get up here? Oh yeah, wait, sorry. I forgot that these existed. Yeah. Play the music. Da -da 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 -da. Break all the pots. Yeah. I don't know why I thought I had the thing equipped. Yes. Yeah. Okay, just casually drop it. What? Why don't they burn? There we go. Yes. I don't know what happened there, but it worked. Awesome. Don't get lit on fire by the boxes. Even the 2D sections feel fun to play in this game. Like, I don't know if you guys played Link's Awakening. That game is awesome, too. But because it's, like, in the same art style as the remake, I can't help but compare it a little bit. And this game just feels so good to play, dude. Link's Awakening is kind of, like, stiff. Like, that remake that doesn't have fully 360 movement. Get it on fire! Ha! Ah, what an idiot. Okay, let's try something else. Uh Okay, you take way too long to attack, dude. Wait, I have one of you guys. Friendly fire! Bro is trying to jump! Attack them! From behind! <laughs> Don't hit me. They're gonna kill each other. Watch this. Or not. Good job. I'm proud of you, Dark Nut. Hey, this is the stairs that led to the boss room before. It's Link! Huh? Is that the person you fought? Who fought the blue monster? Oh, what? Uh, crap. Uh. Dark Knight combo! And sneak attack from the sea urchin! Ow. Ah, stop hitting me! Sp 
Get the drop on him. Hey ya! Hey ya! Hey! Can you drop the sea urchin on him? The freak that beatboxing. How could you miss? Okay, you suck. Okay, uh, I forgot he could jump too. Ah! Link, why are you so annoying? Pick up the pot. Sneak attack. Okay, uh, what could constantly hit him? Um, nothing. Let's get our freaking dark nut. Chop him up. Chop him up, bro. Hit him again. Yes. Oh gosh, he's blue now. What does it mean to be blue? Distract him! Are you kidding me? The thing doesn't place when I want it to. Okay, what if I get like a... A rock or something to throw at him? Yeah! Okay, the rock only helps in certain instances. Hey -ya! He blocked it. Okay. Uh go! I missed! No! Okay. Don't freaking miss this time. Yes. Okay, distract him again. No! Oh my gosh. Link, you're so annoying. Stop killing everybody. Let me kill you. Okay, we got the drop on him this time. What? Uh, now what? I don't freaking know, man. Let's burn him to death. Yes! We did it! Holy crap. Ooh, he left his sword behind. That was intense. Yeah, you said it, Try. He was weird. Like the imposters back at the castle. Looks like he left something behind. Ugh. Oh gosh, that's freaking hiccups. You got a mysterious sword. It's the weapon the swordsman in the green tunic had. He just has his name engraved on everything. Yeah, that sword has a special kind of power. Yes, sword fighter mode. Yes. You look strong like the guy who wears green. Yes. So we only have a certain meter on how long we can use that. Which is cool. I mean, it's fine. Because you can level it up and whatnot. Okay, how do we get up here? Uh, Strandula. Yeah. Epic. Ooh, you got a heart pin. The hairpin has a distinctive heart design that makes hearts appear a little more often. Okay. That's fine. I feel like we don't need that right now. Eh, yep. Yeah. Alright. Spin jump! Nice. I gotta practice those more so I can get better at it. 
Man, this dungeon is nice so far. I don't know what else to talk about, because I already mentioned how I like the music. Is that a warp point? Yeah! Oh, you can't activate it with pots? Good to know. Oh yeah, I forgot. The map also shows you where each of the 2D sections lead to. That's nice. I would do well to remember that. Yeah, freaking die, man. How does it feel to get your head pulled off? Nice. Okay, there's no other way to get there. I technically didn't even need to waste sword fighter mode for that. Yes! Those guys are fun to kill. Since you can just yank their heads off. Okay, what's in this room? In room yonder, this one. Hiya! Nice. <gasps> Could we get a key finally, perhaps? Possibly by chance? Yes! Okay, so we can progress. But I want to see what's in that other room first. Spin for speed! Eh. Don't go through the door. Whatever you do, Zelda. Cool. We're probably gonna get food or something from here. Money! I do like money. Okay, now we gotta go this way. Ho! The only thing that this game lacks is that it doesn't have Pegasus boots. Which, I mean, is kind of fine. Zelda's default speed is faster than Link anyway. But still. Like, I wish I could go just a little bit faster. Oh yeah, I forgot we had a fairy. So, we'll be fine if we die. Yeah! Okay, just waiting for the thing. How you guys doing today? Cool. Oh yeah, Zelda. There's one more thing you can do when using bind. After ho after binding yourself, use R. Reverse bond. Wee! I'm floating. I'm floating. Yes. Okay, these things move so slow, bro. How do I get up to that one? The ladder? No! Wrong button. <laughs> Sorry. Hmm. Ah! Oh, never mind. We're good. How do I get to that chest over there? These are the questions. Yes! We did it. 20 buckaroos in rupee form. Now stop climbing down, Zelda. Holy crap. The joystick is so stupid in this kind of game. Spin jump! Yep. Huh? Ah, uh, tragic. Okay. Let's try using table. Yep. Yep. 
What? <laughs> okay. Has to be right on the button to activate or whatever. The big boss key. Finally, time for some boss battle. Huh? Nobody's here. But I definitely sensed my friends in this spot earlier. Oh, heck. Seismic Talus! My friends, they're in that creature! We've got to get them out of there. Come on, we can do this. Yeah. Aha. Okay, let him attack. Ah, I got hit anyway. Pull it. Pull it. Yes. Easy peasy. Hey Now he's gonna get super mad. Uh alright, that attack kinda sucks. What? Why didn't you pull it out? Pull out the thing! Alright, sword fighter mode. Hiya! Dang, he just let me wail on him that last time. Very epic. And we get a heart container. Nice. Whoa! That's a lot of friends. Zelda, these are my friends. We set them free. They're filled with energy and ready to get to work. So we can finally fix the rift here. Using our echo ability, we can restore the entire area that was swallowed up by the rift. Watch this. Nothing's happening. Oh. Oh no, my frames! Nice. Ha! Can't forget the tree, man. Noise. My friends shared some of their power with me. <gasps> Level 2? Aw, oh, heck yeah. More echoes, baby. I feel like I could do even more now. Try gained a... Oh yeah, also, they told me that a while they were fixing the rift... They said something bi they said oh my gosh let me start that over they said that big rock monster showed up and captured them so then they weren't able to fix the rift because they were trapped inside the monster oh and one other thing there are crystals that show up when we fix rifts they're neat so i'll give them to you zelda yes we can use these to upgrade our sword fighter mode whether it's his weapon or the meter I'm all finished up here, so we can head out when you're ready. I think we can leave from that spot. 
But I want my heart container first. See, that's the thing that Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild suffered from. Instead of Korok seeds, why did they give us freaking heart pieces? The other thing I thought would have been cool about Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom is instead of completing four shrines to get a stamina vessel and a heart container, why don't you just put four shrines together to make one big dungeon that you get a heart container at the end of? Just an idea. The rift here was gone now, which means we can reach the place you were trying to go earlier. If we keep this up, we'll be able to fix all the rifts, and we'll be able to save your father. Yeah? You there! A moment of your time! Uh. I am left, Minister of Hyrule. Pardon the intrusion, but could you tell me where we are? <laughs> oh, Princess Zelda! I'm embarrassed to admit I didn't recognize you in that cloak. Err, why are you wearing that? So, we failed to save you from that beast, and now you're out here facing much danger. I must confess, I'm surprised to hear of your abilities. And your friend Tri accompanied you this whole time? Yeah. Thank you so much, Tri. You can see me? Yeah. Who could miss you? You're floating right there, and aren't you precious? I thought only Zelda could see me. Oh, so Lady Impa couldn't see you. How odd. Oddities aside, I'm worried about His Majesty and the General. We'll need to make a plan. There's much to consider, but for now, head to the location Lady Impa told you about. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Would you mind showing me your map? If I recall correctly... Yes, that's the place. That's where Lady Impa's brother lives. Makes sense that she'd send you there. I'll lead the way. Follow me. Cool. A little companion for the time being. Oh, good thing we took out this monster camp. I imagine we'd have to do that if we hadn't done it before. I know where I'm going better than you do. Hurry up, Minister Left! Ow! My freaking hand. Right here, Princess. Hello, sir. Pardon us, but my name is Left. Lady Impa is my colleague, and... Who is that? I'm a very busy man. No time for chatter. Now get! I apologize for the unannounced visit, but please, will only be a moment. No, no, no! I'm about to leave. Come back later. If you could just hear us out. I said no! I've got to save Link! Huh. Hang on there. That's Link's cloak! So why do you have it? Did you see him? Well... What? Okay, tell me everything. Tell me about the rifts and anything you know about the swordsman. Hmm, I understand the situation now. Thanks for the explanation, princess. Phew, we finally got through to him. Alright, this has been bugging me ever since you barged in here. What is that floaty thing? You can see me too? That's strange. Zelda's always been able to, but now both of you can as well? You're telling me that we're the only ones who can see you? That's odd. Indeed, such a fascinating, such a fascinating and might I add, adorable creature. Yeah, yeah, sure, but back to the matter at hand. What is that you and I have in common? We both ended up in Rifts and lived to tell the tale. It seems the Rifts changed people somehow. Oh yeah, guess I should introduce myself. My name's Lewberry. I'm Impa's older brother. And the, and the swordsman who saved you is Link. I made his weapon, the Sword of Might. Mm. Mr. Lewberry, why did you make him a sword? Mm. Princess, remember that big nasty blue fellow who captured you? The sword was taken for, for taking him out. See, I spent my time researching Hyrule's history and his rifts. For ages now, rifts have appeared and sometimes folks have ended up in them. Those unfortunate enough to be pulled into rift have vanished without a trace. After which time, folks would say they've been stolen away. Anyhow, Link made it his mission to fight the monsters that came crawling out of the rifts. He also tried to prevent folks from going missing, and I've been helping him as I'm able to. Which is why I made him a sword, one that's effective against the rift monsters. The sword of might Princess Zelda's wheeling is the very one I hope these wheels used to Link. 
So Link was helping you out with the rifts as well. Plenty of monsters came out of the rifts, but that blue one was particularly powerful. I've got a hunch that if we take him out, it'll fix the whole people disappearing business. Princess, you shared that Link managed to get that blue guy out. And yet the rifts keep coming. Clearly we're missing something. The rifts of the forest are gone, but Link's not back. What we need is more information. I am very... I may be something useful. When I was taken by the rift in Hyrule Castle, it felt like I was flown somewhere far away. The rift I was pulled into was at Hyrule Castle, but Zelda found me at the rift in the forest. So how did I end up over there? Rifts don't follow the same rules as your world. Things connect differently inside them. My friends had mentioned something about oversized rifts in other areas. We might end up finding the king and other people if we in far off rifts. So maybe Link somewhere else then. Hey Zelda. I'm going to fly up high to look for some of the other big rifts. I guess we'll just wait. Hey, he's back. I think I found some. There's no saying where Zelda's father and the others might be, but I did spot some big rifts we can go explore. Look at that. I've marked them on your map, Zelda. If we fix the rifts, we may be able to save your father and the others. So let's get to work, Zelda. Princess Zelda, I must insist that you refrain from going any more rifts. It's far too dangerous. That's up to her to decide, Minister. I mean, she's the only one capable of mending the rifts. During this time of crisis in Hyrule, we all have to play our parts, Princess Zelda included. You make a salient point, Mr. Lewberry. Princess, I urge you to go with Try to the other rifts. You're the only one who can fix them and save all the people who've gone missing. Minister, you stay here and help me investigate the rifts. We'll play support for the princess. Aye. Oh, of course. Investigations are my specialty. Oh. Princess, the rifts marked by Tri located in the Gruda Desert and Jabu waters. Please let me know if you require further information. Yes. All right, Princess. I'll leave it to the king. I'll leave it to you to find the king, general, right, and link. Holy crap. Mm. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. The sword you've got there. Pretty sure I can make it even more powerful than it is. I'll have to do more research on it, though. So talk to me later if you're interested. Dang, I freaking butchered that because I was... Like, wouldn't it be cool if this guy spoke really fast? But then I fumbled the bag. Anyway, we're going to leave that episode here. So leave a like if you guys enjoy. And next time, we'll start making our way to the other rifts. So take care and I'll see you guys next time.